In this lecture, we will learn about Unity's new mobile device simulator. When you are creating a game for mobile, you need to make sure that your game scales across devices of all aspect ratios. Prior to Unity 2020, the workflow would be to build your game and test it on devices of different shapes and sizes. As of Unity 2020, all of that testing can be done in editor. We can download the device simulator from the package manager. Let's open the package manager by going to Window, Package Manager. This package is a preview package, so we need to click the Settings icon and then select Advanced Project Settings. Then we will check Enable Preview Packages and then click the I Understand button when the pop-up appears. Then we can close out of the Advanced Project Settings window and then finding the Device Simulator package. Once we do that, we will install it. To open it, we can go to Window, General, Device Simulator. Then we can go to the list of default devices with the drop down and switch to the desired device from the list. The Device Specifications section will show you various useful information about the device, such as the operating system, CPU, GPU, and resolution. The Rotate button allows us to toggle between Portrait and Landscape mode. If our game will not support a certain orientation, then we can uncheck that orientation directly in the screen settings under the allowed orientation settings. The application settings section allows us to test different languages using the system language field. We can also change the internet reachability to simulate different internet states. Also, we can click the on low memory button to trigger a low memory event, the type of event we would get when our device is low on memory and we get notified of it. In the next lecture, we will learn about camera stacking.